Okay, in this vid video we're going to make a tutorial on how to um, set up the uh, solid state relay. Um, just like in the last video where we, we connected the AC cord, we're now going to connect some wires to the other terminals so that we can attach this to a breadboard or an Arduino or um, other device like that that's a DC device. Um, first thing we're going to do just like last time is take off the plastic front cover and we're going to be working with these terminals. These ones are labeled um, with a DC voltage. This one says 3 to 32 volts DC. This is actually the input to the relay, so this is the control side. We're going to be using um, what's called 22 AWG or 22 gauge uh, solid core wire. Solid core wire just means that it has a single strand of, of wire in the, in the middle. So it's a little bit different than working with the braided wire that we um, used with the AC cord. What we want to do is um, cut um, some lengths of wire, two lengths to be specific, um, that are long enough that we can use them to attach to a breadboard or an Arduino or something um, and just give us a little bit of slack. So I'm going to get about six to eight inches of wire here and just use some wire cutters to clip that off. And I've that's black uh, for the negative. I like to use different colors for the negative and positive. Um, so that's just my preference. It doesn't actually change the function, but makes it easier to tell the difference. Now you want to make sure that your two wires are pretty much exactly the same length. You can see I'm just making sure that they're equal lengths right here. I'm going to use my wire cutters to cut that. Okay, next step is to use our wire stripping tool um, to strip the wire uh, insulation off both ends. Um, if you notice on this stripping tool there are uh, numbers in AWG or in millimeters. Um, this is the gauge of the wire and you want to make sure you're using the right gauge. Um, so again this is 22 gauge wire. So I'm going to find the slot labeled 22, and that's the slot I'm going to use to strip off this insulation. If you use the correct one, it goes very simple. And I'm going to do that for both wires. Okay, so next what we're going to do is um, just very similar to the last time, we're going to form this into a hook shape that will go around the screw terminal. And then we're going to unscrew that, both sides. Now, if you're using different colors of, of wire to um, signify different polarities, positive and negative. You want to make sure you attach the right color of wire to the right polarity. And in this case, uh, there's a plus and a minus sign. We're going to use the red wire for positive. It's kind of the standard. So I'm going to make sure that I use the red wire on that side. down nice and snug. Same thing on the other side with the black wire.
once those are attached you can replace the plastic cover and then I personally like to take these wires and twist them together just so that they make one nice long wire and then leave enough at the end um, so that they can be manipulated and used and then it's a good idea to keep that secure to just take some electrical tape or if you have uh, shrink tubing or something like that you can use that as well And there we go. You can see that on this side the AC cable is connected. Um, and then on this side, this is where our DC input is going to come from. If I have an input anywhere from 3 to 32 volts, it will, it will allow current to flow along this AC wire.